Thank you. A very warm welcome to all of you. Myself, Subhi Tebatia, Faculty of Management at IPM Ghazibad. So the topic for today is staffing and its process, right? So let's start the topic. So first of all comes a staffing. So as we all know that it refers to the process of filling vacant positions in the organization with skilled and qualified employees. Or in other words, we can say that staffing means finding the right person for the right work. Fine. So let's talk about the process of staffing. So basically, there are nine steps in the process of staffing. First of all comes your human resource planning, that is HRP. Once we are done with the human resource planning, we'll move to the next step, that is your recruitment. After recruitment comes selection. Then after selection comes your induction and orientation programs. Then we'll do the training and development of the employees and we'll do their performance evaluation or performance appraisal. And according to their performance evaluation, we'll do their transfers, demotions, and promotions. So let's talk about the first process that is your human resource planning. So basically human resource planning, it involves job analysis, forecasting and determining the future needs or future manpower needs of an organization. If we talk about the job analysis, so in job analysis, basically we uh, break the job into smaller parts, which are then analyzed to determine that what are the need or what are the requirements of that particular job. And according to job analysis, will write down the job description and job specification of a job. And in job description, uh, we can say job description involves the job title, then what are the duties and responsibilities in that particular job, and what are the working culture or working condition in which that job has to be performed. So it's all about the job description. If we talk about the job specification, it means that what are the skills, knowledge, and experience which are required to do that particular job. So basically in human resource planning, we forecast the manpower need or future manpower needs of an organization. So once we are done with the human resource planning, we'll move to the next step that is your recruitment, fine. So basically recruitment, it is a process to attract a maximum number or maximum number or a pool of eligible candidates for a job, for a particular job. Fine, in this we will attract a maximum number or a pool of eligible candidates. And this can be done through various methods like we can use social media to post our jobs. We can also use advertisements. Apart from that, we can also conduct meetups and we can also check resumes which are posted online. Fine, once we are done with the process of recruitment, we'll move to the next step or to the next process of staffing, that is selection. So uh, in selection, we'll do the screening of the candidates and the best suitable candidate are appointed as per the recruitment as per the requirement fine and this can be done through personal interviews written test we can also conduct physical ability test and we can also conduct that that is thematic appreciation test which are done to know about the psychology of the employees and we can also uh, do the selection by our references by the references of current employees so in selection we'll select the eligible candidates or the deserving candidates and we will reject the rest that's why it is said that recruitment is a positive process while selection is a negative process because we will do the rejection here fine once we have done with the uh, selection we'll move to the uh, next process that is orientation and induction training so uh, orientation and induction training these are the ice breaking sessions these uh, kind of trainings are given to the employees at the time of their joining to make them familiar uh, with the working environment of the organization 
And if we talk about the uh, orientation and induction training, so employee, <clears throat> employee can be given, uh, so we can give them basic information about the uh, organization that what are the objectives of the organization apart from that what is the uh, vision and mission of the organization what benefits the organ uh, organization will provide you what are the working condition like timing attendance that how to fill the time sheet fine so these all are the parts of orientation and induction training and once we are done with the induction and um, orientation training we'll uh, move to the Next process. So the uh, fifth process is placement. So as we can see, uh, so the definition is placement means putting the right person on the job for which he is selected. It includes introducing the employee to his job. Means we will put right person at the right job or we will put the person or the employee at the real working condition or at his desk job. Then after placement comes your training and development. Now we'll provide them training and development programs. So as we know that training is a short term process which is given to the employee for the enhancements, uh, for the enhancement of particular skill, behavior and attitude for doing a particular job. And training can be provided by Two method, one is your on the job method and other is your off the job method. If we talk about the on the job method of training, so in this the training is given to the employee at its real working situation, which includes like job rotation, then your JIT, that is your job instruction training and understudy, it means supervision method. So these all are the part of on the job method. If we talk about the off the job method, it means uh, these are separated from the real working situation. Like uh, we can provide vestibule training to the employees. We can conduct some lectures and uh, uh, case studies can be given to the employee. We can also involve them in the role plays activities. So uh, after training and development, we'll, uh, after some time, we'll, uh, you know, we will evaluate their performance. So what we will do, we will evaluate the actual performance of the employee and we will compare their actual performance with the set standard of the organization. Whatever the deviation and difference will come, according to that, we'll do their performance appraisal. As the definition says, says that performance evaluation, also known as performance review or performance appraisal, refer to the process of systematically assessing an employee's performance and according to their assessment will do their promotion, transfers and demotions. So appraisal means appraisal of employees as to how efficiently the subordinate is performing a job and also to know his aptitudes and other qualities necessary for performing the job assigned to him. So once we are done with the performance appraisal or performance management, will do their promotion, transfers, and demotions. So it's all about the staffing and its process as uh, uh, it is basically nine steps or uh, the process of uh, staffing has nine steps as we discussed earlier. Like first of all comes your human resource planning and uh, after human resource planning, we'll move to second step. That is your recruitment. Once we are done with the recruitment, we'll uh, move to third step. That is your selection. After selection, we'll provide orientation and induction program to the employees. Then we will place them to the actual working condition. It means we are doing the placing. Uh, so placement process will happen. Once we are done with the placement, now we'll give them trading and developmental program. After training and developmental program, will evaluate their performance, means we will do the performance appraisal and according to their performance appraisal, we will transfer and uh, we will promote and demote the employees. So it's all about the staffing and uh, its process. I just hope that I help you to understand the process of staffing and its functions. Uh, thank you, have a nice day.